Today in Matt's class, we are going to talk about how to draw comics the Marvel way. So I always have students in all of my classes asking, what is a good book to learn how to draw? And there are a lot of good books out there. There's a lot of good books that maybe focus on perspective or foreshortening or how to render the figure in charcoal or something like that. But there is one book that is just a general, amazing how to draw book that beats all of the rest to a bloody pulp because it is the champion and that is How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. This book is amazing. I actually have a very sentimental story with this book because I was in fourth grade. I loved drawing comics. I didn't even know anything about this book. And of all people, my teacher in fourth grade, Mr. Massingale, gave me this book. I don't even know how he acquired this book or if he got it from a garage sale or something like that and thought I would like it, but this book was a game changer for me. You know, some of it was a little over my head and a little bit more complex maybe for me in fourth grade, but over the years as I continued to get better and better, I was constantly pulling this book back out and Throughout my career, this book has always helped me. So it's a little old school. This book is actually from 1978, and it's written by Stan Lee. It's drawn by John Buscema, and this book is just fantastic for not only learning how to draw figures, how to draw faces at different angles, but it also really shows you how to draw action. It shows you composition. It shows you foreshortening, right? and it shows you storytelling. So this book, a lot of times for my students in pre-viz, if you're getting into storyboarding, any kind of visual storytelling with comic books, manga, animation, this book is amazing how it shows you how to block all of your shots and how to really become an expert visual storyteller. There is no better book. There's a lot of great books out there covering you know, various little things, but just for a general book that you need to have in your library, I can't recommend it enough. So you guys need to get your hands on this classic, often imitated but never duplicated, trust me now and believe me later. Excelsior.